Hey everyone, welcome back to Medicine Made Easy. I'm Kelly and today we're talking about melanoma skin cancer. So I'm back in Charleston. Yesterday I went kayaking and I saw a ton of people at the beach and I thought what better time to do a melanoma video than the beginning of summer. So melanoma is a specific type of skin cancer. This cancer occurs in the pigment producing cells or the melanocytes of our skin. Melanin is the dark brown or black pigment that is in animal and human hair, skin, and eyes that gives it a darker color. So if you have brown hair, you have more melanin than someone that has blonde hair. Melanin is also responsible for producing a tan in sun-exposed areas. Melanoma is the development of cancer within these pigment-producing cells. Some of the risk factors for melanoma are in the way that we look or our phenotypic makeup. This includes having lighter hair, lighter skin, and lighter eyes. These all put us at an increased risk for developing skin cancer. Other risks include having frequent sunburns, using tanning beds regularly, and also already having a large number of moles on your body. And when I say large number, I mean over 50. If you have a mole or a lesion on your skin that you're suspicious of, you can use the A, B, C, D, E assessment. The A in this assessment stands for asymmetry. As you can see in this example, this mole has an irregular shape. The B stands for borders and bleeding. In this example, you can see that the borders are irregular. It's also alarming if the lesion is bleeding. C stands for color. You wanna be looking for a dark black or multiple dark colors. D stands for diameter. Anything more than six millimeters in diameter would be alarming. E stands for evolving. Anything that is changing over time or looks different than it originally did would be concerning. If you do have some suspicion of a lesion on your body, it would be best to see your primary care doctor and they can refer you to a dermatologist if you don't already have one. The dermatologist will determine the need to biopsy the lesion or take a little piece of it, look under the microscope and see if it's cancerous. And they will also be the ones determining your treatment plan and following through with the care. Now the best way to prevent skin cancer is obviously using sunscreen. A lot of people use an SPF every day in their moisturizer or in their foundation, but it's really important to make sure that you're putting sunscreen on all skin exposed areas when you plan to be outside. It's recommended that you use an SPF of 30 or higher and that you're reapplying every two hours. Hopefully you guys found this useful. If you did, feel free to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and stay tuned for more videos.